Here's a hot tip about colorizing multiple tracks in Cubase. So it's a, all about how you have them selected. So you can be in a situation like what we're looking at here where we've got several tracks selected, but we've also got an event selected at the same time. So when we come over here to the little paint palette and we choose a color, let's say blue, because of the way that it's selected, only this event gets colored, and we didn't want that. <laughs> um, so what you have to do, which is Control Z, undo it. So now, as you can see, I've just selected the tracks, but made sure that none of the events are selected. So now when I go over here to change the color, everything changes. That's usually what I'm wanting when I want that to happen. I just noticed that sometimes I would, would go and click it and say, hey, it didn't work. It only colored the part. Um, and so that's kind of what it is. It's not necessarily a bug. It's just, you know, it's doing, it's colorizing what you selected, essentially. So anyway, hope that helps. Bye.